not full contact and uh, he almost play spars people. He's got no, there's no nerves. There's no, um, he doesn't overexert things and he's, he's, he's playing a game and that's how he can sustain the pace and the variety of techniques. He, he has fun and it's just a pleasure to watch. No question about it. The expert analysis. Can he have the expert placement? Because Zhao Shui, you mentioned that kind of semi-Korean style, controlling the distance and getting the timing. But when it comes to the, the ability to hypnotise you and freeze you on the spot, not many better than Ide Hoon. Shuffles across the centre there, changing up the rhythm. But we know that Zhao Shui, the athlete in red, he's got good back kicks. And if you are new to the sport, they're the high-value shots. No scores on the board so far. Two nil to Zhao. That was good. Um, Lido enforced the pace. He kicked two times, maybe three, and then trying to wait for the gap where his body armor was exposed, and then found the shot. Uh, Zhao, I think, is, is fighting really smart today. He's um, he can't sustain the pace like Lido. He can't kick constantly like him but he can use his brain and cover, so his, his blocking needs to be very good in order to have a chance of winning this fight. And as you say, looking for a chance to win this fight, does well with a little push kick to the body, good accuracy, timing and power. And he's a big old unit as well. Yeah, he's a big guy, he's uh, like, yeah, just over six foot two. Um, yeah, and he's 50, he used to fight 58 kilos. He's a big, big guy. But what the last point he scored then was a, was an attacking side kick. And he's, he's, he's being passive if you watch. He's blocking, he's spoiling, and then surprise attack. So he's very smart. Yeah, a smart fighter is a dangerous fighter. And he's got E. Day Hoon in a little bit of danger. Still plenty of time to claw back, hit it. Not in this first round. Just about 10 seconds and some change to go. No changes on the scoreboard. Josh White, four to the good. And it was a couple of very good shots, little kicks there from E. Day Hoon. Almost finding a gap under the guard. And if this is a taste of things to come, Ede Hoon's going to have to think about his It's virtually time. impossible because he's got so much variation. Um, I think Lee Hoon's going to start putting a bit more pressure, um, putting him on the edge of the ring, making him close, making him make mistakes. But he, when he does that, he needs to do it in a smart way so he doesn't run into any headshots. So who's got the smarts no, here? I think they the did in the Grand Prix, and I think Zhao was beating him until two seconds left, and I think uh, Lido on the attack back kicked him in one. Um, so it's tight. So yeah, last fight was really tight, but the the expertise of Lido to bring something out of the the bag like that just shows his quality. And what he wouldn't give for a repeat of that tries with a little flick up to the face, good body shot as well. The power of the Korean beginning to tell there on the face of Zhao Shui, beginning to feel the intensity. Better footwork from Ede Hoon, shifting, shuffling, looking for options. Nice little leg lock on the inside as well. Both men know how to run the match. For me, Zhao, is, uh, the difference in this fight is, is his blocking is, and his evasion. is His arms are in the right place constantly. Um, not many people can fight Lee Hoon for a round and a half and not concede a point. And he's not even registered on the pad in the round. So Zhao's blocking is, yeah, it, it's really good. It's literally on point. On point, yeah, it's on point. Good Back kick misses. Good side step there from Zhao Shui. Slides round the corner. And he's keeping the pressure up here. That four-point lead hasn't been added to it. But Ide Hoon, as you rightly say, Damon trying to find some room at the end. But it's a lovely shot again. Just like I said, he's um, playing possum. He's blocking, blocking, going backwards. Bump, surprise attack. So good punch from Lee Dae Hoon, 6-1. But Lee dae thinking, how am I going to score on this guy? How am I going to score? But he's not thinking about um, defending because he's surprising him. So tactics from Zhao, bang on. And bang on with that shot as well. Extends it to 8-1 and opening up with, he's got really good doubles as well. The big man in red from Beijing. He's going to take a gamjon for stepping out. Quan Zhang Min, the Chinese coach, saying, yep, OK. No worries with that one. Six-point game. Great attempt at a headshot from Lee dae -yoon. and uh, the punch goes, and you can see now he's forcing the fight. He's forcing it. He's he's still gonna. He's conceding on the way in. Zhao's cover is is on point, and like I said, he's he just flicked him to the face because Lee dae -yoon's thinking, how am I gonna how am I gonna score on this athlete? And he's he's sometimes forgetting about him attacking. 
As you say, forgetting about him attacking, and that's why 10 to the good now. Ide Houghton tries with a twisting kick in the inside, but it's the blocking game of Zhuai, <coughs> who has a little look at the scoreboard, as if to say, yep, I'm quite happy with this one here. Back kick as well, lands a little bit low. A little paddy bar dance in the inside there. Both men holding hands, but it's the referee's hand signal giving the gam jump, and giving Ide Houghton a bit of a crumb of comfort at the end of this second round. Throws the, the step through reverse turning Basic kick. Basic terms, with a, with a side kick. But if I was Zhao and it was I was winning 13 to 4 against Lee Dayun, I feel nervous for him sure. because he will not stop coming. Yep. So his fitness must be on point. And there's also a quote you talk about on point there and good block and good shots on the inside. You mentioned there about uh, Zhao Shui registering on the protector. Have you had a chance to see all of these kicks from Ide Hun? Has the light? Yeah, Zhao's cover. His, his blocking is it's really good. It's, that's the difference in this fight. He's um. He's negating all his all his attacking and then and then just stealing his points. But like I said, uh, Lee Dayun is you can't write him off at any score. Yeah, as you say, well, you mentioned previously, Armin Hadapur's desire to have a fight. People think that the angelic looks of Ide Hoon, that he's going to be calm and placid. It's like switching on a light. He just comes forward. So Zhao Shui will have his work cut out in this one. And how long can he continue to grab in the clinch? Not that long. Yeah, that's a warning now, so um, the referee will want him to fight more. Zhao is obviously thinking, I'm going to keep it as it is, I'm going to shift out, not take any risks, but the referee will encourage the fight, which will be in Lee Dayun's favour. And the score and momentum in favour of the Korean. Pulls it back to 13-6, good work from Zhao Shui. But is there a danger that the tactics you had that were working and you suddenly become a little bit defensive here? Zhao Shui needs a little bit of a reminder for Lee Dayun. I think Lee Dayun for me is um, he needs a, something special, something different. Maybe he tried to spin. Um, he, uh, he was unlucky. Maybe a back kick's there, a, a shifting back kick. But I think he needs to change it up a little bit. Yeah, we're looking to change it up quite significantly. There was that step yeah. through reverse that you mentioned, or the step through back kick, come reverse, but it comes in favour of Zhao Shui. It will be another gam jump though. Fifteen six, and there's going to be a little protest from Quan Jing Min. You're also shaking your head there. What did you think? Did you gam John or not? I'm not too sure. I was just thinking of um, the score, and I was thinking, you see the score 17, uh, 7 15, and you think there's one minute left, but that's nothing in this sport. There's you know, a spinning kick to the head is five points. Um, best sometimes. athletes for the Tokyo Games. And it is indeed the other way around. Referee agreeing with Renato Tukvanic. Coach happy. Team China, likewise. So yeah, that's it. He, he stayed in the ring. The the gamjum was removed, and it's a little bit, little bit more of a, an ask for Lee Dayun now. Well, a big ask for a big fighter. The man in blue tries with a back leg turning kick. Well, he's turning on the afterburners here. He may not get the points on the board, but Zhao Shui, bruised and battered, he's going to have to earn this gold medal. The big man from Beijing, blocking, covering, doing his best to hang on. Yeah, he's. he's He's got that tactic. His tactic is to to just spoil and get get his get his legs in the way and move his body. And then when Lee Dayun settles and static there, he, he surprises with a, a, an attacking check, a, attacking side kick. It's the best I've possibly the best I've seen him fight. And there's not many fights where Lee Dayun scores six points in three rounds. A good point, well made, and it's been the points well made by Zhao Shui, the Olympic champion, Lee Dayun fighting to the finish as we would expect, but the Korean. Well, he's been off form, but he's been fantastic in this final. Last 10 seconds now, Ide Hoon battling forward generates another Gamjon. Can he generate one last opportunity? Chungguk Jayo, the shout from the fans, they're happy. Nice. There's the headshot over the shoulder. Good attempt, but uh, I think, again, it's, it's a hard ass eight seconds and 10 points, but sometimes when if you're Lee Dae Hoon, you'll be thinking, check the body armor, I'm, I can't score, but his, his blocking has been exceptional. It has been exceptional, but it's an exceptional finish there for Zhao Shui. Gives a little clap. He didn't have to check the protector, but he will check his medal rostrum and he will add a gold medal. Well done to the man from China, Ide Hoon, in fine form, but the better man on the day by a margin, the big and man from Beijing. When Lee Dayun's thinking about attack, he then surprised him. So, very good tactics. Very good tactics and a very good result, Zhao Shui was in command all the way through Ide Hoon.
as you rightly mentioned, turned on the style, put everything into it, but it's silver for the Korean. And glorious gold for the man in red. Zhao Shui, deserving of the Grand Prix gold medal. Really enjoyed that fight, to be honest. I think, um, yeah, Lee Doon, he, he did a lot of great techniques, but just wasn't getting reward for it. Um, and Zhao was really, uh, yeah, it's probably one of the, the smartest I've ever seen anyone fight, Lee Doon. He's, he's a legend of the sport. But like we spoke about earlier, he was unbeaten for two years, and now it's happened, I think, three times this year. So uh, this is going to be interesting for the games because it opens up the floodgates to people that think, I can beat this person that I thought was unbeatable. So, yeah, it's interesting. Interesting times in the world of Taekwondo. Of course, the ranking points on the road to Tokyo. One man that will certainly be there will be Ede Hoon. Two men that will be looking to repeat the feat in Tokyo. Zhao Shui with that Olympic.